How about Bunker Gamers? Welcome back to another episode of a logical journey. Uh, last time we got Xylon. We tried to start UEV, but we couldn't make it too far due to our lack of enriched Naquata. I've made a few changes. Um, namely, we, we're now buffering less fuel. Um, I'm using redstone P2P tunnels with fluid detectors to turn off and on the distillation towers. Probably not the best way to do it, but it works for what I'm trying to do here. Um, we're still low on Naquata, especially in rich Naquata. So what I would like to do today is I took the plunge and I gutted some of uh, most of the knack room because I want to do the shortcut if we come here and take a look at an aquatic compound dust any of the compound dusts can be put through a UHV um, chemical reactor or a UHV advanced large chem reactor uh, with a few fluids and we get out the uh, the dust we want. So instead of doing the whole chain, we can just do one chem plant. So I went ahead and got three chem plants for us to build. So I'll build those real quick here. Okay, we are back. We got the three built. So let's get this working. So we'll, this one will be enriched, enriched, aquatic, aquatic, and the last one was aquatic. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So for this one here. We need enriched and these three. Pretty, pretty simple. I'm gonna, I can already tell I'm gonna regret um, removing everything because I don't know if we have this, um, but I guess we'll find out. Right? Uh, this was pink, right? Yeah, it was. So let's get a pink cable going somewhere. I should probably be brought back into the system. So what do we got? We got oh, right uh, plus one priority, plus one priority. So things should be going into here now. They are not. Huh. These are online. Okay, so maybe these just aren't expensive to the system yet enriched aquatic nope they're there extract only hmm oh I see these are the output buses because of course they are That's funny. I would do that. That would happen to me. Uh, anyway. Input, input bus. Enriched. Where does this go exactly? Where should this go? I guess we can move it over here. Does that look nice? Yeah, and then we can put a lab lock there. Um, xenon, that. So we don't have xenon. And that isn't going in there for some reason. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Those are the outputs. This is the input. So what did I say this was? I said this was this middle one here. Okay, and 
and then for this, right, we are going to need oxygen, xenon, and radon. Radian, right? Radon. Holy shit. Radon. I slipped back into math for some reason. Why would I do that? Whatever. Okay. Okay. So those are there now. And then this last one is the necrotic compound. Yes, the necrotic compound. And for this. We are going to need just hydrogen. Oh, and potassium, something or another. Okay, so we want another input. We should just do two of these. Right. So you can go in there. And then you will be this potassium stuff, right? So that should be good then. Large chemical reactor. I think that's what we want. Chem plant. Is it a chem plant recipe? Yes, it's a chem plant recipe. So these all need to be switched. Oh, interesting. We have the potassium stuff. Chem. Okay, there we go. So these should be good. Now to see why the why are the compounds not coming in? Extract only. Right, the fluids are going in. The fluids are going in, but not the items. Huh. I think I just had the priority set too low. I think this was back before we used priority one. Yeah, so if I do a thousand and one, they behave properly. So we got enriched, we got, what are we missing? We are missing Xenon and that other one. Xenon, right? So this is going now. So we're getting the Nequadra dust. And then we're getting these, which need to go through an electrolyzer, which is this. Okay. See, this whole thing is poorly designed because it was back when I wasn't too sure how to do this, right? So let's try to fix that as best we could, or best we can. So you can be just an input bus. I think these have somewhere to go. They do not have, oh, they do have somewhere to go. And then you can be a storage bus. All right, so this should be clearing up. It is. Okay. And then we can go here. We can add some capacity cards. Cool, 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 cool. Now are both fluids being no, the xenon trioxide is not. So that can go over here as well. Fluid interface. Output hatch. That's output. This is xenon trioxide. There we go. Into an electrolyzer. 
This is correct, right? This doesn't feel correct. There's oxygen and radon don't have a place to go. Ay ay ay, what is happening here? Okay, 64k. Fluid storage cell. Partition it to be oxygen. Oxygen. Radon and xenon. Hmm. Okay, I guess radon just didn't have anywhere to go, but now it does. So this should be, yeah, this is working properly. Xenon? Fluid storage bus. Why? Could this just not be like that, right? Then it goes where it's supposed to. We have 150k in a quadria dust. Neck. Okay, that's fine. Cool, 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 cool. So you're good to go. No, now we just don't have oxygen. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. So this one's going good. This one. Potassium peroxima sulfate. We need to make sure we're actually making that. Right. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is easy. So this one should be going. I hope if we did that correctly. Yes. So you're going good. Potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. I think just go to the main net. Potassium hydroxide, yeah, this can just go to the main net. Um, how are we doing stuff to the main net again? We're doing it poorly. Right here, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so the potassium stuff we're out of. How do we make more of this? Potassium dust, hydrogen peroxide, and sulfuric acid. Okay. Okay. Um. Potassium. Dust, and this can be An untuple input. Also, if you couldn't tell, I'm sort of just winging this as best I can. Uh, there. You go, and then you should have. A storage bus, I think. And then an output hatch, output bus. Do we have an EV? There they are. Thank you. 
So potassium needs to be on here now. It wasn't already. Wish it wasn't. Right, so... Hopefully this works. Maybe it needs to be on a higher priority. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Potassium. What are we missing here? This needs HV. Hydrogen peroxide. Oh, potassium hydroxide? What do we got here? Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide with sulfuric acid and potassium. Oh, we need a fluid output, right? There you go. We got potassium something or another. So the last ingredient here you know, the last few ingredients is actually no we have everything except that how do we make this chlorine and gold chlorine and gold and an electrolyzer um okay sure thing bud these luv oh we have this here This just needs a pump. A pump sent to import fluid interface with chlorine. We may need chlorine on the system here. Yep. But now that should be going. Crazy idea here. Crazy, crazy idea. back on the system if we even have room I didn't realize hold on this goes into here it gives us gold oh chlorine gets recycled here okay so we do not need chlorine here which is fine so gold gets recycled Ay, 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 ay. So, up the bus. Chlorine. Right, we can throw this on here. No problems whatsoever. But now it's filled with xenon trioxide. And the xenon trioxide. No. We want this here. The xenon trioxide goes into a. Uh, screw it. We literally just add that to one of these. And that should be good. And now gold's coming out. It's going back into here. Everything's groovy. Everything is groovy. Sweet. So that is the NAC compounds taken care of. And 
Nicely done. Nicely done. We can probably get rid of these two. Well, we, I know we can get rid of those two, so let's get rid of them really fast here. Clear out my inventory a little. So what now? Now that that's done, we should be good to get started with UEV. There's the UEV machine hull, right? And we should have everything for all the components for the nuclear, not nuclear, the fusion. fusion, right? So we needed 64 of these. What are we missing here? Some more patterns. Okay, so let me get these patterns in, and get this crafted, and I'll bring you back once we're ready to start Fusion Mark II. So we have all the equipment for the Fusion Mark II. Let's just grab a chest here. But as I was saying, it's easier in the long run if we do this first. So let's get a room set up for this. We're gonna we're gonna need so many uh, chemical reactors. Let's get ten and just see where that ends up. Um, I'm going to go get a room for this, and I'll bring you back once we're good to go. Okay, we're back. I got 10 uh, LCRs set up. We are right across from Xylon. So I think we are just going to get started here with the benzyl chloride. So benzyl chloride, we need a UVA lamp. Right. Benzyl chloride. So what do we need in here, right? We want chlorine and toluene. So we want a quad input hatch. And also just a normal input bus. Uh, some fluid interfaces, normal interfaces, and then points. So what did I say this was? This was these two. This outputs hydrogen, so we can get two filtered output hatches. Um, Two of these and two of these, right? So this is going to be the benzyl chloride. This will be the hydrogen. Storage bus for the benzyl chloride. We'll figure out what we want to do with the hydrogen in a bit. Um, UVA lamp should be done. There we go. Okay, so this is set up. So we're... We're making benzyl chloride now. Perfect. So this stuff... Hexamethylatrimine. I don't think we're actually making this. So for for this, what do we need? We need a quad input hatch. Because I think we're making this for, yeah, we're making this over in Starlight Rocket Fuel, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is just going to be ammonia and formaldehyde. So pretty simple. But we also require a circuit. Circuit of one. So we get an input hatch and a circuit, if I can find them. Do I have any... Why do we have 
so many things. LV circuit, 100 of these bad boys. Make it so. Cool. So this will be one. We will shove it in there. Um, we need an output hatch. So I'm pretty sure this made water. So we can just dispose of the water. Right, you just make water. Yeah, you. we don't need water. A uh, trash can. So trash can and then a storage bus. Perfect. And these will probably be on a subnet. So we'll do that. So we have these two. These two combine into benzyl benzylamine. Um, how do we get this? Hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> ammonium chloride. So it takes two. This makes three buckets. Three buckets turns into three buckets. Buckets of hydrochloric? Curious, curious. So this loops. So what we need is a drive. We'll put it where we usually put it. Uh, okay. I guess I deleted that drive from existence by breaking it. Cool. 64k fluid cell and then we can get a cell workbench hmm. so this third LCR is going to be uh, benzylamine and the benzylamine Is going to have an input. No, one of you. And then I just noticed the water input for this. Right, so we're going to get a quad input hatch. The quad input hatch is going to have water, hydrochloric acid, and the benzyl, ben, benzyl chloride we just made. So water, hydrochloric acid, and that. Right? And this produces three fluid outputs. So we can get three of filtered output hatches. Let's try to make this a closed system. I think that would be a fun challenge. That, and that way it's not the same as the others. It sort of mixes it up a bit. So we get these three. So you become this, which means you get the fluid output because you are the product we want. And then you become ammonia chloride, which means you get a fluid storage bus and you become formaldehyde, which means you get a fluid storage bus. Make sure it has power. Yes. Okay, so there's the benzylamine. Now we need ammonium carbonate, which is calcite dust and ammonium sulfate. And ammonium sulfate is annoying to get unless it's from chemical reactor here. 
Hmm. Do we have this by chance? Chloride, no. Okay. So we want... We want this, which comes from a chemical reactor. We're going to put this in one machine. So we want, um, we want a chemical reactor at UV, if we can find one. OK, so chemical reactors are done. I also decided we're going to do cyan for this, right? So we need a pump. I'm doing this in a single block since it's not really too intensive. Like it's, it's two ingredients and then just the output. There's no water. Like if this produced water or anything, would probably do it in a multi-block. We need a circuit. And that circuit is of one? One, yeah. Okay, so that produces the ammonium sulfate for this. Wait a second. We have 36,000 ammonium carbonate. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, that is so funny. 36,000. That'll last us a while. Um, this will be our backup if it ever gets low. Um, let me just... Ammonium sulfate. So we have a backup system. So S ton what the f what ace oh geez Louise. Chemical reactor with acidic acid. Water, methanol, calcite dust. Wasn't calcite dust used for someone here? No. So this doesn't really get looped which is fine oh where does it ethylene oxygen calcite okay i think calcite becomes the acidic acid anyway regardless regardless we need to put this in an lcr no we want this LCR item fluid. Okay. We want an input bus. Input bus and a input hatch. Put hatch U and then this produces the item and two fluids. So we can get an item and we have the, no, we, there you go. We have the two fluids and the item. Okay. And then you go here with that, right? So no, output bus. What am I doing? What are we doing here? I'll put, I'll put, I'll put, and then we have, I'm on the wrong machine. And then the item. Okay. Okay. We've done it. We figured it out. So the item here 
is going to be ammonium carbonate. The fluids here. Is, wait, it's just the one fluid. Yeah. It's going to be this. And then output bus is going to be a storage. And then these two, we need two filters. Carbon dioxide and water. So you'll be carbon dioxide because that's slightly more interesting than water. And then you will be the water. That is boring. Both of those will go into a fluid interface. So where are we at now? This was just the ammonium acetate. Sure. And so this needs to go into a chemical dehydrator. Perfect, we had one. So you will be a storage bus with a conveyor. Set to import with ammonium acetate. And this was EV five seconds. No, HV five seconds. Yeah, that'll be plenty of time. Okay, so we have this. So these are all good. So glyoxyl. What the actual hell is any of this? Okay, so we need a quad input hatch. You and you go down. This quad input hatch has oxygen and that on it. And then it produces only two outputs. Perfect. And then we need two filters. You will be the glyoxyl and you will be the water. Water will be there. Glyoxyl will be a fluid storage bus. Cool, 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 cool. So we don't have that yet, so we can't mark it off. Oh my god! There's just so much here. Okay, let's get everything so far working. So that means we get everything plugged in. Okay, everything is pretty much wired up now. So let's get started at the start, right? So for this, we just needed chlorine and toluene. I don't think... Hmm. Shoot. Chlorine and toluene. Gives that... Formaldehyde, no. So chlorine and toluene need to go on here. And toluene, right? So if we put a fluid storage bus here, extract only, we should see this start, hopefully. One, yes. So that means this might have ran, actually. No, because it would be full. Where aren't you going? Oh, tape, right. So you're going now. We're getting the benzyl chloride. 
benzyl chloride and hydrogen, right? Hydrogen honestly can just be trashed. We don't need it. Benzyl chloride is all the way on. So this one required ammonia and formaldehyde. I think both of these were um, recycled. So we can just do something like this. Uh, get two cells of ammonia, right? Um, what? <laughs> what? Okay, so those cells are just somewhere, I guess. What? Oh, here. Set this to extract only. That was funny. Um, you can go. And then formaldehyde. Can go. You are in here. Perfect. Put you in. So we're getting it. Perfect. 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 And I think this just produced water. Yeah. Does the ammonia not come back? Benzene, ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride can go into an electrolyzer. So let's get a UV electrolyzer. So we can plop down the um, electrolyzer, get a pump. Set this bad boy to import, and then set it to output here and see what happens, which means we need, um, uh, hydrochloric acid in here as well. Okay, okay. We are getting somewhere, I think. So you are good. You are missing something. Maybe just tape? So you and... No. Water, hydrochloric acid. So we do need water here. Wait a minute. We can just do something like this. Where were we? We were like right here, I think. Yeah. So we can take water off. We can do an input hatch. And just slap that on. And then all we need is some hydrochloric acid. Right? You're going, you're going, you're doing it. You're getting ammonium chloride. You, formaldehyde's going. So, right, so you need Ammonium chloride on here. Capacity cards? 
Maybe? You don't need these. What this needs is power. You're going, you're going. Everything's good here. The ammonia is coming back. You're going sweet, sweet, sweet. The ammonia, though. Okay, hold on. This takes four ammonia to 22, 22 to three. Oh, we're, we, we, we low on ammonia. That's a bummer. So what we need to do, I guess, Okay, I forget exactly if it's high priority or low priority that the fluid storage bus chooses first. But we want this to choose it last and prioritize what's in here. So I think we're good. Right? Ammonia should not be going up. It is, though. It is. So maybe it's a high priority? Yeah, it's going down now. Cool. Okay. So we are good up to here. Ammonium acetate, right? So we need these two, which is fine. Acidic acid, and then this. We also need a storage bus. This probably needs to be at a higher priority because it is a subnet. This, it would also help if I connected this, honestly. And then got some tape. No? Power. You don't have power. So you're going, you're making ammonium acetate. Carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is our first one that can truly go into here. Right? And then we can just take this and slap carbon dioxide into it. Yeah, sweet. So ammonium acetate, you have water for some reason. There you go. And now, this needs to go into a chemical dehydrator. So we have this. So we just need gliazol. So let's get gliazol and then we'll wrap up the episode for today. So what do we need for gliazol? Gliazol, oxygen, and that. So oxygen. Simple enough, goes in. This though, S S Talia hide. Do we have that? We don't seem to. So how do we make this? Okay, so we are going to passive this S Talia hide right now. 
So we are going to do this with um, filtered output hatches. We need two of these. Right? And so one of these is going to be the acetalahyde. This one is going to be the formaldehyde that this produces, right? So we're good. We are good here. So the formaldehyde is just going to go into the system. The acetalahyde is going to go into a super tank with a fluid storage bus set to extract only. And then this has an item output. So let's get an output bus. Output bus that goes into here, right? So that's this, this is, that's that. And for the input of this, we need an input hatch. We need two input buses and a fluid input hatch. Right. So we're going to get osmium tetroxide, but for this, we need a crafting card. A crafting card with this. So this gets looped, this gets recycled in the process. And then for the fluids, it's just going to be acetone, I think. Yeah. Acetone. So this is all good. So if we hook this up to the system, it's all the way down here. If we hook this up, we should see, we should be getting the ingredients we need. Yeah, there's the sodium, there's the acetone. Uh, this needs tape and power. But we're going to hold off. Actually, no, we're going to, we'll give it power. Where is it? Where is it? Um, right here. We'll give it power, but the machine stopped. So let's get... Let's get what we need for... This osmium tetroxide. Oh, it's just oxygen and osmium. So we can go to the Rproc Multi... We could come over here. Uh, blast furnace should be here. Osmium tetroxide. I think I might have already had some, but it's too late now. Because um, we just made it. So. No. Where did I make this? I made it over here. This base is too big, man. This base is too big. Uh, da, 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 do that. Start it. Sodium iodide is going back. Cool. Formaldehyde. We don't have a place for formaldehyde, which is interesting. But we have the acetaldehyde. So let's go over to fluids. I totally thought we had a place for formaldehyde. Guess we didn't. So let's set this up really quick. Um, ooh. So fluid storage bus, uh, bi directional one uh, tank. Super tank for formaldehyde. Put that there, that should do it. Formaldehyde. Perfect. So now we should have a bunch of acetaldehyde, which we do. And that should keep going. So if we head back over to here, we can give the system acetaldehyde. We can come over here. Is it here? 
Acetic acid, where was... So oxygen and this, we should have. Yes, so you are trying to make glycerol or glycerol. So, okay, so let's get this going, right? So this is going to be water and selenium oxide. Selenium oxide is selenium dust. Yep, just fudge and had it. Okay, and then we just mix it with water. Right, in a chemical reactor. Yeah. Uh, that was anticlimactic, but I'm... Honestly, not even mad. So you can head back over here, put this in. You should be going. If we gave it tape. And with this, we have glycerol. Glyoxyl. Which means... I passived, I passived, a catalyst again. Why does this keep happening to me? That is hilarious. That's so funny, that's so funny. And it's the only thing this is used for, right? Wait, did I passive a catalyst? I did, I did passive a catalyst. Wait, did I? Oh. oh, I did. That's very cool of me to do. Well, there's that. So now we can put this in an LCR. So we don't need this. I'm going insane. I'm going insane. So ammonium acetate, like this one is completely useless to us, isn't it? Because we don't need this. Ammonium acetate, acerol. Yeah, so we can turn this one into the hexabadadibada. We can do that. And this does get used. This does get used. Okay, so this is going to be... I'm actually pretty, pretty straightforward, right? We're making this. So we need these two into a, a quad input hatch. And then this can just be that, right? Okay. I'm going insane. So water, you produce you just produce water. Okay, cool. So you are unnecessary. You, however, are not. I made an apple bus again because of course I did. Of course I did. There we go. We got the hexa... That... Uh, there's two A's, a Z, and a W in here. 
what these are made up these are made up anyway this is going to be where we wrap up this episode next time we'll keep going this line we will we'll finish this line at the very least next episode anyway thank you for watching i'm sorry i passed a catalyst again and i'll catch you next time